Waste management is a very pressing issue in the world today, as waste has become a major contributor to environmental degradation. The mushrooming of industries in the last three decades has worsened the problem, with millions of people being directly affected by industrial waste pollution. Many countries have tried to set up facilities to manage waste through incineration, but failed because of the high cost of maintenance, capacity mismatch, lack of technical support, and the inability to meet the required environmental standards, such as emission limits. These factors have made incinerators unsustainable and unsuccessful in many developing countries. Quality Alum, with the assistance of its Danish collaborator Niras, has jointly designed an incinerator model incorporating the solutions to problems encountered during the course of the company's experience in operating its rotary kiln incinerator since 1998. Quality Alum stands proud with four ISO certifications and has been entrusted by the government of Malaysia to build and operate the only integrated hazardous waste management center in the country, the first of its kind in Southeast Asia. As an endorsement of its capability, Quality Alum has also been authorized by the Atomic Energy Licensing Board of Malaysia to treat technologically enhanced naturally occurring radioactive material waste, or TANORM. The Quality Alum Modular Incinerator, or KAMI, is the answer to many developing countries for an incineration facility that deals with municipal, medical and hazardous waste and curb environmental pollution. Kami was constructed in less than a year and is comprehensively equipped to treat hazardous waste such as sludge, hospital waste, oil and gas industry related waste and to norm. This new and improved plant is designed and built on the principles of ability to treat a wide variety of waste, higher productivity and efficiency, lower operation and maintenance cost, dry scrubbing of flue gas cleaning system, and emission standards in compliance with EU directive. The Kami plant has a nominal capacity of 10,000 tons capacity per year, or 33 tons per day. The creative design of this plant has also managed to reduce operational cost significantly. The plant is divided into four sections. The feeding system, combustion, heat reduction and recovery, and the air pollution control. Feeder. Flexible and robust. Kami has improvised a multiple feeding line of waste material through a specially designed cylindrical ram feeder for solid waste and lancers for both energetic and aqueous liquid waste. The ram feeder system enables waste feeding in a continuous mode, creating a more homogenized characteristic of waste and an airtight system that reduces fluctuation of combustion parameters consistent combustion parameters will eventually lead to a stable and optimum combustion process. Combustion. The rotary kiln technology is preferred for its robustness and flexibility in handling and coping with a variety of waste stream. To efficiently treat waste containing PCB, this system is capable of operating at temperatures of more than 1100 degrees Celsius. Kami drastically solves the two most common problems in the incineration process, slag buildup and incomplete combustion of solid waste by the innovative design of the rotary kiln. The bottom part of second combustion chamber, or SCC, is designed in a half circle shape to also reduce slag buildup. Adjustable lance is used for energetic waste while combustion air inlet is arranged to give optimum exposure to waste. The improvement, together with a multiple fuel firing system, optimizes fuel consumption dramatically. Heat reduction and recovery. An effective spraying system allows rapid cooling of flue gas to minimize the formation of dioxin. Similar to SCC, the cylindrical design prevents accumulation of waste in dead zones, thus improving efficiency and reducing stress on the cleaning process. 
An air preheater system is installed to recover energy from the flue gas to assist in the combustion of waste. The combination of the quencher and air preheater reduces the problem of clogging and high operating and maintenance cost. The usage of preheated combustion air, therefore, reduces the consumption of fuel. Air pollution control. Uniquely designed to meet the EU emission limit, Kami adopts the dry system that uses less chemical as scrubbing agent. The system consists of bag houses arranged in a series, while hydrated lime and activated carbon injection is used to neutralize acid gases and to remove heavy metals. The multi-cyclone, which acts as a pre-filter, removes larger particles before it enters the bag house, ensuring longer lifespan of the fabric filter. Serial arrangement of two bag houses provides additional protection to overcome peak condition of pollutants and extra filtration of particulates. This guarantees that emission limit is complied even during worst case conditions. The clean flue gas is discharged through a 30 meter high stack at 170 degrees Celsius. Continuous Emission Monitoring System CEMS. CEMS provides real-time emission data of various pollutants and process parameters that is automatically linked to the central control room. It is further integrated with DCS system for automatic control of the whole plant. Located just before the stack, it is an extractive type analyzer that continuously measures gases such as carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, hydrogen chloride, sulfur dioxide, nitrous oxide and particulates. This first Malaysian made hazardous waste incinerator stands for something more than just an innovation of a technology. Kami stands as a symbol of commitment, obligation and a sense of responsibility to our environment and future generations. It's only natural that Quality Alam Sandirian Berhard is a major advocate for sustainable development. Quality Alam, the greener environmental solution.